very good morning to one and all welcome to lms department of collegiate and technical education i am shadakshri mb selection grade lecturer in electronics and communication department from government polytechnic tumkur today we are going to discuss filters the filters comes in analog communication third semester in unit 2 in this session you are going to study the filters basics that means first you are going to study terminologies related to filters then you are going to study basics or introduction to filters and then you are going to study applications of filters classifications of filters and basic filters and their frequency responses after this you are going to study some multiple choice questions also in the end now first what is filter you can take in our everyday life you are using so many types of filters the main function of filters in our everyday life is that filter is going to remove unwanted substances present in our required substance it is going to remove that is called as a filter in the same fashion in our electronics and communication field the unwanted frequency components are present in a required information that is going to remove using this circuit or that particular network is created as a filter we are going to discuss that electronic circuit in this particular session first you are going to define some important parameters are required for filters design and then to understand the filters first i am going to define filter what is filter filter is a frequency selective circuit or a network it passes or allows required band of frequencies and black or attenuate or stop the all other frequency components that circuit you are going to call it as a filter that means that is going to pass the information from input to output and other component you do you not required otherwise in some particular application some frequency components are not required they are stopped at the input input side itself that type of electronic circuit you are going to call it as a filter and next important term is pass band pass band is the range of frequencies passed to output without any attenuation that means the electronic circuit otherwise filter circuit passes the signal from input to output that particular range of frequencies you are going to call it as a pass band for a good filter pass band as zero attenuation that means that particular range of frequencies are going to the output without any changes is called it as a pass band that range you are going to call it as a pass band frequencies next one stop band the stop band is a range of frequencies black could or attenuated or stopped by the electronic circuit for a good filter stop band as infinity attenuation means in case of our electronic circuit called as a filter it is going to stop the frequency components that particular range of frequencies you are going to call it as a stop band in this in the, in this range the output quantity is approximately zero that means all that frequencies are stopped at the input of a circuit that particular frequency range otherwise the frequencies you are going to call it as a stop band next you are going to define very important parameter call it as a cut off frequency the cut off frequency is defined as the frequency which separates pass band and stop band or stop band and pass band is called cut off frequency normally it is denoted by the symbol otherwise the denote, denoted by fc the cut off frequency means this should separate this pass band and stop band that particular frequency you are going to call it as a cut off frequency these are the main important terms you are going to require to study the filters the pass band stop band cut off frequencies knowledge is essentially required to understand our filters now you are going to study one basic black diagram and its response 
from these two things you can easily understand how our basic filter works here you are showing one black diagram of a filter you are going to give any electronic circuit means you need some input it is going to produce some output the electronic filter accept the signal signal at the input side the signal frequency is varying from 0 to infinity that means the frequency is variable the input may be voltage current or power whatever the thing that frequency of that signal varies from 0 to infinity that is applied to the electronic filter electronic filter allows required frequencies only other frequency components are stopped at the input side now that is indicated here output contain required frequency band otherwise frequencies that electronic circuit you are going to collect as a filter here one such type filter the frequency response is plotted here the frequency response means you can take any electronic circuits it has a good property or it has a and it is not possible to select our particular application or not for all those things you are going to study its performance in case of filter you are going to study the performance of a filter using frequency response frequency response means you are going to plot frequency in x-axis versus you are going to plot attenuation or gain in y-axis the resulted curve other is the resultant graph you are going to call it as a frequency response or characteristic graph of a filter now you can see here you are going to plot in x-axis frequency is plotted here y-axis you are plotting attenuation in some filters you are going to plot gain also this resultant graph you are going to call it as a frequency response here we plotted the frequency response of band pass filter you see the frequency from 0 to fc1 fc1 is collected as a cutoff frequency the frequency from 0 to fc1 is passed by our stopped by our filter that range of frequencies you are going to collect as a stop band frequency from 0 to fc1 all the frequency components are attenuated or stopped by our filter that range of frequencies you are going to collect as a stop band and frequencies from fc1 to fc2 you are indicated here all the frequency components are passing from input to output without any attenuation is called as a pass band that means in this range all the frequency components are available at the output side otherwise output quantity is equal to input quantity in this range that range of frequencies you are going to call it as a pass band next frequency above fc2 all the frequencies are attenuated or stopped by our electronics filter that range of frequencies you are going to collect as a stop band like this you can see what is stop band what is past band and then what is past band in the frequency range 0 to fc1 frequency are stopped the frequencies from fc1 to fc2 frequencies are passed from input to output the frequencies above fc2 are stopped by your filter the range of frequency 0 to fc1 is called stop band the frequency fc1 to fc2 is called as a pass band frequencies from fc2 to uh, greater than fc2 is called as a stop band now here the frequency fc1 it is going to separate our stop band and then pass band that frequency you are going to collect as a cutoff frequency similarly frequency f2 is going to separate pass band and stop band that particular frequency you are going to collect as a cutoff frequency for this particular band pass filter you are going to have two cutoff frequencies are available some filters you are going to have only one cutoff frequency is available like this in your complete your it can take your previous slide pass band stop band cutoff frequency they are indicated in this frequency response that means totally to measure the performance of our filter we are going to plot frequency response from that frequency response we can analyze that filter is required for our particular application or not like that you can come to the conclusion based on that frequency response you can select good filter for our particular application next applications of filter that means where you are going to use this filter in your electronics applications normally in almost all communication applications you are using filters some of the applications are listed here 
filters are used in used to eliminate background noise and filters are used in radio tuning to specific frequency filters are used in pre amplification equalization tune control in audio systems filters are used in signal processing circuits and data conversion circuits filters are used in audio amplifiers filters are used in medical electronic equipments satellite communication system space signal processing musical instruments speaker system like that in almost all communication applications you are using directly or indirectly using this filters it depends upon its requirement next classifications of filters you can classify your filter into so many categories in that some of the categories are shown here you are going to see or study one by one the based on arm impedances you can classify our filter into two categories one is called as a constant k or prototype filter and m derived filter here constant k means any you can take any electronic circuit it is going to have two arm one is called as a series arm and then shunt arm based on that particular arm impedances you will have two types if you multiply the two arm impedance z1 and z2 you are going to get a constant value that filter you are going to call it as a constant or prototype filter another type is m derived filter next category is based on frequency band you are going to have the four types of filters are available one is called as a low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter band stop or band elimination filter here the name itself indicates the low pass filter means the electronic filter which allow frequency which allows low frequency components is called as a low pass filter similarly high pass filter means it passes high frequency component and stop the low frequency components is called as a high pass filter next band pass filter band pass filter means it is going to pass the frequency components between two cut off frequencies called as a band pass filter and band stop or band elimination filter it is an filter which attenuates or stops the frequencies between two cut off frequencies is called as a band stop or band elimination filter like this based on frequency band you are going to have four types they are very important we are going to study in detail in your Uh, next slides next based on input signal you are going to have two types of filters are available analog filter and digital filter next based on number of states you are going to have many types are available first order filter second order filter nth order filter like that you can classify the meaning of number of stage means in some application in using single filter it is not possible to achieve our required goal in that situation you are connecting output of one filter is connected to next filter like that you are going to connect output of one is connected to next next is connected to next stage you are like that you are going to use you are using only one stage is called as a first order filter you are using two filter means call it as a second order filter you are connecting three filters in series means series means you are going to call it as a third order like that you can go up to nth order that means based on the number of stage you are going to have filter you can classify like this first order second order third order fourth order like this you can go up to nth order filter okay next based on circuit elements the based on the circuit element used to construct our filter you are going to have two types of, two types of filters are available in that first one passive filter passive filter means you are going to construct our filter using passive components like resistor inductor capacitor or resistor inductor resistor capacitor or inductor capacitor they are used to construct your filter that is called as a passive filter normally passive filters output is always less than input and they are not provide any gain that type of filter will go to call it as a passive filter next type active filter active filter means along with your passive components like resistor inductor capacitor we are going to design filter with the help of bjt transistor or op amp 
or any amplifier you're going to use it to construct or filter you're going to call it as a active filter normally in case of active filter you required external power supplies required this type of filter you're going to call it as a active filters next based on frequency range you're going to have so many types of filters are available some are listed here audio frequency amplifier radio frequency amplifier high frequency amplifier low frequency amplifier like that you are going to have based on the frequency range you can classify your filters into many types like this you can classify our filter in so many categories in this very important r based on arm impedance in this constant k and based on frequency band this four and then we are studying analog filters so in this analog filters are important and in this section in this session you are studying first order only and then you are designing passive filters passive filters this classifications are important for our further studies okay next to understand our filter you should know which are the basic components you are using to design a filter in our syllabus you are designing our filter using inductor and capacitor you have to understand how that inductor and capacitor they are going to working as a filter in your previous classes you studied the reactance of the inductor directly proportional to frequency that means frequency increases reactance increases frequency decreases reactance decreases that means the reactance fully depends upon frequency similarly in case of capacitor capacitive reactance depends on inversely proportional to frequency frequency increases reactance decreases now using this property you are connecting our circuit elements inductor and capacitor in a required fashion you can obtain low pass operation you can obtain otherwise low pass operation you can possible to obtain so using inductor and capacitor it is possible to construct low pass filter or high pass filter connecting in a proper way so you are using inductor and capacitor to design our passive filter in our syllabus you are discussing constant k type passive it may be low pass high pass or band pass or band elimination filter you are designing using inductor and capacitor next you are going to study the basic four category of filters based on frequency band they are very important you are going to study their frequency responses and their definition you are study here first one low pass filter the low pass filter name itself indicates this is a electronic filter which passes the low frequency component and stops or attenuates the high frequency component that electronic circuit you are going to call it as a low pass filter now see here these two graphs they are going to indicate one is practical or actual characteristic another one is going to indicate the ideal characteristic in practical characteristic the filter output from frequency 0 to fc almost our output is constant frequency increases up to fc you are going to get almost constant the frequency increases gradually the output decreases with increase input uh, uh, output decreases with frequency increases this is a property you are plotting in your frequency response in case of low pass filter in case of practical case or ideal ideal frequency response you are going to get from 0 to fc you are going to get constant output is available from 0 to fc frequency the frequency above fc you are going to get zero output is available the range of frequencies from 0 to fc is correct as a pass band frequency components above fc is correct as a stop band the frequency separates pass band and stop band you are going to collect as a cut off frequency now in this case the frequency from 0 to cut off frequency fc all the frequency components are passing from input to output by our filter circuit the frequency greater than fc cut off frequency you are going to get almost output is equal to 0 that type of filter you are going to collect as a low pass filter in low pass filter you are going to have one pass band one stop band and you are going to get one cut off frequencies available next you are going to study high pass filter high pass filter attenuates all frequencies below the cut off frequency fc and as a constant output 
output above this cutoff frequency of C. Below figure shows the practical and ideal frequency response of IPOS filter. Here also you can see the first one is this is actual frequency response or practical frequency response. Second one is going to show the ideal frequency response. In case of practical or actual characteristic, the output increases with frequency increases. Up to FC you are going to get very low output quantity. The frequency above FC almost you are going to get output is equal to input quantity. Now from frequency range from 0 to FC you are going to get stop band range is available frequency above FC that range of frequencies you are going to collect as a pass band. In case of ideal characteristic the frequency from 0 to FC you are going to get zero output the frequency above FC the output is constant otherwise you are going to get output is equal to input input the range of frequencies you are going to collect as a pass band frequency range. Now in case of I pass filter you are going to have one stop band and then one pass band and one cutoff frequency. This cutoff frequency is going to separate stop band and then pass band. Like this you can define I pass filter. Next you are going to define pass band filter. It is shortly called as a BPF. Band pass filter passes the frequencies between two cutoff frequencies FLC to FUC and alternate all other frequencies. Here this below figure is going to show the frequency response of ideal and practical frequency response for a band pass filter. Here see frequency from 0 to FLC that means is one cutoff frequency normally collect as a lower cutoff frequency. The frequency from 0 to lower cutoff frequency all the frequencies are going to stop or alternated by filter and frequencies from FLC lower cutoff frequency to FUC higher cutoff frequency all the frequency components are passing from input to output and frequency above FUC that means higher cutoff frequency all the frequency components are attenuated or stopped by our electronic circuit that range of frequencies you are going to collect as a stop band like this this pass band filter attenuates the frequencies from 0 to FLC and above FUC and it passes the frequency components from FLC to FUC that type of filter you are going to collect as a band pass filter for this filter you are going to have two stop band and one pass band and then you are going to have two cutoff frequencies they are collected as a lower cutoff frequency and then higher cutoff frequency the lower cutoff frequency is going to separate stop band and pass band upper cutoff frequency is going to separate pass band and then stop band here dotted line indicates ideal frequency response solid line indicates practical or actual frequency response like this you can define band pass filter next last one band stop or band elimination filter in band stop filter or reject band fart filter rejects or attenuates the band of frequencies between two cutoff frequencies FLC and FUC and allows or passes all other frequencies that type of filter you are going to call it as a band stop or band elimination filter below figure shows practical and ideal frequency response of band stop filter this band stop filter is also called it as a band elimination filter or band reject filter sometimes you are going to call it as a notch filter now you can see here frequency response in this frequency response frequencies from 0 to FLC that means lower cut of frequency all the frequency components are passing from input to output and frequency above FCU higher cut of frequency all the frequency components are passing from input to output that means this frequency range you are going to call it as a pass band frequencies and frequencies from FLC to FCU that means lower cutoff frequency to upper cutoff frequency all the frequency components are stopped or attenuated or blocked by our electronic filter this range of frequencies you are going to call it as a stop band 
in case of this band stop filter we are going to have two stop bands and one stop band and two cutoff frequencies are available lower cutoff frequency is going to separate pass band and stop band upper cutoff frequency is going to separate stop band and then pass band here also the solid line is going to show practical or actual frequency response dotted line is going to indicate the ideal frequency response like this you are going to define based on the frequency response otherwise band of frequencies you can classify our filter into four categories that means low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter and then band stop filter they are important from your examination point of view next whatever the thing is studied studied for based on that you are preparing three question better to prepare a answer for this question they will helpful for your examination the questions are define and classify filters sketch and explain ideal characteristic of low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter and band stop filter you explain the classification of filters in the previous slides i given answer for all this question we try to answer for this question other write assignment they will helpful for your exam point of view these are uh, these three questions are assignment questions okay next you are going to take up the multiple choice in this session you are going to have 10 multiple choice questions are available i am going to read out the question you take one pen and paper you mark answer after one five second i am going to give correct answer you check your answer with my answer okay first question the first multiple choice question a filter which passes without attenuation all the frequencies up to cut off frequency fc and attenuates all other frequencies greater than fc is called first option i pass filter second option low pass filter third option band pass filter fourth option band pass filter Okay, read out the question once again a filter which passes without attenuation of all the frequencies up to cut off frequency that means zero to cut off frequency it passes all the frequencies other than frequency greater than fc means our filter is going to pass low frequencies and attenuate high frequencies that means the correct answer for this question is option b low pass filter it passes the frequency component from zero to cut off frequency and stop all other frequencies greater than fc that filter you are going to call it as a low pass filter for this correct answer is option b next second one a filter which attenuates all frequencies below a designated cut off frequency and passes all other frequencies greater than fc is called option a band elimination filter option b band pass filter option c low pass filter option d high pass filter read the question carefully a filter which attenuates all the frequencies below cut off frequency that means it is stop or attenuate the low frequency component and passes all other frequency greater than fc that means it passes the high frequency component and stop the low frequency component that means our filter is high pass filter the correct answer for this one is option d high pass filter next third one a filter that passes frequencies between two designated cut off frequencies and attenuate all other frequencies is called option a high pass filter option b band pass option b band elimination filter option c band pass filter option d low pass filter you see the question once again a filter that passes frequencies between two designated frequency that means it is going to pass the frequencies between two frequencies is called as a band of frequencies that means it is a band pass filter all other frequency components are attenuated that means the correct answer for this question is option c band pass filter it passes the frequency component between two cut off frequencies that type of filter we are going to call it as a band pass filter all other frequencies are attenuated the correct answer for third multiple choice question is c band pass filter fourth one a filter that passes all frequency laying outside a certain range 
while it alternate all the frequencies between two designated frequencies is called option a low pass filter option b high pass filter option c band elimination filter option d band pass filter read the question carefully it is a filter which passes all the frequencies outside the certain range other than band it is going to pass that particular band it is pa not passing that means particular range is rejected or eliminated that means that filter is called as a band elimination filter so uh, in for this question answer is c band elimination filter like that you have to analyze what is the question given and then mark in your examination fifth one what is filter option a filter a frequency selective circuit b amplitude selective circuit c frequency damping circuit and d amplitude damping circuit in initially i defined filter is a frequency selective circuit that means it selected selecting the required frequency component and stop other than required com frequencies that means the filter is a frequency selective circuit for this correct option is a frequency selective circuit the sixth one what are filter created by using resistor and capacitor or inductor and capacitor called a active filter b passive filter c continuous filter d differential filter in one classification based on circuit component you are going to have two filters active and then passive active means you are going to use rlc along with transistor or amplifier transistor or op amp you are going to use in case of passive you are going to use rlc or rl or rc or lc you are going to use that means the you are going to create a filter using resistor and capacitor or inductor and capacitor that comes under passive filter option p is correct for this particular question okay seventh one a rc coupling circuit is a example of what type of filter option a low pass filter b high pass filter c band pass filter d all pass filter seventh one an rc coupling circuit is an example for what type of filter for this correct answer is high pass filter that means it is going to pass the high frequency filter rc coupling is going to pass the high frequency compared to low frequency so answer is high pass filter okay eighth one in a series resonant band pass filter a lower value of q results in a a higher resonant frequency a smaller bandwidth a higher impedance a larger bandwidth in a series resonant band pass filter a lower value of q results our quality factor is low means you are going to get larger bandwidth the answer for this question is d a larger bandwidth next ninth question what is the loss of filter introduced to signal in pass band called option a pass band loss option b insertion loss option c attenuation option d degradation what is the loss the filter introduced in to the signal in the pass band for this correct option is b insertion loss 10th question passive filter contain amplifying device to increase signal strength passive filter contain amplifying device to increase the signal strength the option for this are a true and then b false for this correct option is true a is required to increase the signal strength is required amplifier so answer is true or correct Okay, this about multiple choice question for this particular session. You want to study more detail about filters or to enhance the knowledge, you can refer this books: Electrical Engineering Fundamental, Communication Engineering, Electronic Communication System, or Electronic Communication.
or still you want to know more about this filters you can go through this youtube or slides okay thank you